Now, corporate America cut a whopping $240 billion in costs last quarter. Of course, those cuts include plenty of jobs. So are companies going to keep cutting or have they cut too much? It's a delicate balance. And John Ehrlichman is standing by with a Bloomberg analysis at the touchscreen. John? Yeah, job cuts, inventory cuts, outsourcing. Scarlett, we know that companies have been doing whatever they can to bring down their expenses. We looked at companies in the S&P 500 outside of banks and AIG. We have some remarkable findings for you. Not only that companies cut $240 billion in the third quarter, but over the last four quarters, that number is $814 billion. And yet, our analysis suggests that companies uh, have not cut to the bone. We'll tell you why. If you look at operating profit margins, how much companies are making from running their business, right now they're around 14%. It's pretty comparable to the historic level, which suggests companies have cut costs enough to get them in line with their sales story. What's also really interesting to look at, in this recession, you only saw one quarter, the fourth quarter, when profit margins took a big hit. Since then, they've been climbing. That's very different than what we saw in 2001. And a great example of that is what's been going on in the chip sector. We can show you the revenue versus expenses story there. Back in 2001, chip companies were very slow to cut their costs. This time around, they're saying, uh-uh, not going to do that. Revenue's been sliding. They cut their costs. That's enabled them to make money a lot faster. And Scarlett, the takeaway from that is that investors have made money in chip stocks, for example, this year. Sure, the tide has turned there, clearly. If the bulk of job cutting is done, the next question is, when are these companies going to start hiring? Right. Well, if you listen to some of these quarterly conference calls, you're still hearing a lot of companies talk about the fact that they want to keep expenses low and margins obviously are something they want to maintain. That's something that Rod Smith of Riverfront's been talking about, that you want to maintain your margins until sales come back then. That likely limits how many workers you're going to add. That's an encouraging story for investors, Scarlett. It's a little rougher when we're talking about job seekers. Okay, so to protect their margins, more cost cutting on the way. Perhaps. Thanks so much, John.